2012's valedictory, Katie McClinton.
from accomplishing my goals. Today, I regret not listening to their ideas, hearing their viewpoints, and sharing their burdens. In the future, surround yourself with people who challenge you. Allow them to show you a different angle. They will keep you on track when you fall down, encourage you when you do something right, and dare you to look deeper within yourself and others. Be willing to collaborate. Only by working together can we reach our full potential. I remember someone telling me some time ago about a rumor regarding myself. They said I was that smart girl who acted like she knew everything. It was at first shocking to me that a person who knew so little about me would judge me like that. I asked myself, why? Perhaps it was because I wasn't cool enough, wasn't pretty enough, or perhaps they just didn't really know me. As we have gone through high school, rightly or wrongly, we have all assumed things about each other. Class of 2012, is this really how we want to be? If I could ask one thing of us, it would be to first value ourselves, and then learn to accept and value others. As we exit high school, some of us move on to college, some to work, and some to other experiences. In these new environments, there will be many different kinds of people. There will be athletes, tryhards, magic players, science nerds, jocks, jerks, princesses, kings, kind people, bosses, preps, punks, tree huggers, and trendsetters. As you meet and develop relationships with new people, I challenge you not to judge them by their label, but to take the time to get to know who they really are. You cannot do it alone. Be accepting of others. With high school ending, while many of us are looking forward to sleeping in, meeting new people, and moving on into the real world, I am sure we also fear, share a fear of the unknown. I know that when I think about college, I am filled with a mix of excitement and, to be honest, pure terror. I am not sure I entirely know how to be an adult, or if I even want to. At 18 years old, it is still a scary adventure for me whenever I go to try and pump gas. I really have no idea how to properly iron a shirt, prepare a meal, or buy an airplane ticket. Good thing I'm staying close to home. As we become adults, these new experiences will be stressful. They will be scary. There will be people we don't like. There will be decisions that we don't agree with. In all of this, I encourage you to share your fears with others. Remember the buddy system, rule number 29. It proves to be useful in life and with zombies. Comedian Amy Poehler once gave advice to the graduates of Harvard. She spoke, when you feel scared, Hold someone's hand and look into their eyes. And when you feel brave, do the same thing. You are all here because you are smart and you are brave. Use the buddy system. You cannot do it alone. Throughout our four long years here at Cedar Crest, we could not have done it alone. On behalf of the class of 2012, I would like to thank the faculty of Cedar Crest High School. You have inspired us. You have challenged us. You have pushed us to explore ourselves beyond the boundaries of Cedar Crest. Thank you teachers for taking the time to meet with us one-on-one -on -one outside of class, caring about us as unique individuals, and encouraging us to become the best possible people. We will never forget you. Also, I would like to thank all of our parents. You were with us from day one. You were there when no one else was. Thank you for your patience, your unconditional love, and your discipline as you taught us how to become adults. On a personal level, I would like to thank my family, especially my brother Brian, my sister Tia, and my sister Abby for putting up with me all these years. Thank you for your patience, kindness, and support throughout my studies. I would like to thank my mom and dad for their tolerance, love, and encouragement in all years of my life. They are my number one fan. Also, I'd like to extend thanks to friends in my life who have always been there for me. We've had some crazy times. Finally, I would like to extend thanks to all my teachers. In particular, I would like to thank Mr. Murdoch for his inspiration. As a freshman, it was Mr. Murdoch who first encouraged my freshman science class to chase ingenuity and pursue individual research. With his support, I went on to complete a dream and attend two international science fairs my sophomore and junior years. These experiences have prepared me well for the challenges to come in college and in life. I find it ironic how 12 long years of hard work, a
accomplishments, failures, first times, last times, travel, and experiences conclude into one single night. In less than an hour, this phase of our lives will be over. One way or another, we all made it through high school, together. In the future, I wish you all the best. Be bold and genuine in your interactions. Meet new people. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I just met you and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe. <laughs> you cannot do it alone. Congratulations, class of 2012. We did it.